three days ni what you need a elections roadmap and then the woman wanna say we build general wajina. And yes, I have the constitutional requirement. Never follow. And then the roadmap on our banner is unconstitutional. And we are saying, "Yeah, we to nip them and mra ne guide But my main chair, what you for? You know, me the main setter and baby. I didn't tell me I can say. First and foremost, our status there is nowhere, no article that deals with. Elective Congress. Article 25 of our status talks about one, the Congress is the meeting at which all the members of GFA regularly convene. It represents the supreme and legislative authority of GFA. Only a Congress that is duly convened has the authority to make decisions. Three, paragraph three. A Congress may be an ordinary or extraordinary Congress, period. Now, you go and bring a roadmap where elective Congress, in this our status, they tell you how an ordinary Congress can be organized. Who call Article 31? Are they? One, ordinary Congress. Congress shall meet in ordinary session once every football season, usually before the commencement of said season. The Executive Council shall fix the date and venue for a meeting of Congress. The members shall be notified in writing at least 10 days in advance. This is the amended status signed by Mr. Kate E.S. Okrapu, president of the GF. You go to Article 33 that deals with extraordinary Congress. Paragraph 1. The Executive Council may convene an extraordinary Congress at any time. 2. The Executive Council shall convene an extraordinary Congress by a resolution of the Executive Council or upon the request of not less than 50% of members of GFA. Such a request shall be made in writing. The request shall specify the items to be included on the agenda for the meeting. Yeah. The extraordinary Congress shall be held within 14 days or receipt, on receipt of the request. Christ. What is, how is an elective Congress convened? When do you convene it? Who what are the who? processes that leads to the con uh, vocation of that Congress? What, I'm saying, what are the processes of uh, this, yeah. uh, that leads to convocation of elective uh, Congress? Because there is nothing like elective Congress. What the status talked about it didn't make us say, yeah, hey, Ghana. What the statutes talked about was that in Article 30, Paragraph 10, are candidates for any of the available positions of the Executive Council shall be sent to the DFA Secretariat at least 30 days before the relevant elective Congress. The word relevant should tell you be said. Congress are ever quite ever to abandon. That is the relevant elective Congress. So being it ordinary or extraordinary Congress. And Thank you. Kassan. And our status has emphasized where we must elect the president. You go to Article 32, Paragraph 2. Eight. Are Paragraph 2 there. The agenda for a meeting, that is... Uh, 32 no, talks about ordinary, ordinary Congress, Congress agenda. The agenda for a meeting of Congress shall include the following mandatory items in chronological order. It is the election of Kiwa at the election of the president. But incidentally, the original status that was signed by Dr. Kofi Amua, Kiyo stated that 
election of the president and other executive available positions on the executive council. That is the original Ayiba Ayo. But it was amended and Keto Kreku signed and simplified it and said election of president. That is mandatory. Now, we went to Congress July 10th. Ah, con ordinary Congress, you know, yeah, Congress ah, in the election year, I was away oh, elections, you know. The understanding of Ghanaians, and they had to about October, 24 years, you know. Meanwhile, the same general secretary who is a lawyer will sit at Congress and tell them, say, oh, uh, uh, Congress will see for, yeah, 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 debate in your. A uh, discussion you are a true be bad one, true here, yeah, but one is a black brand, which is a blatant lie. This same uh, general secretary, who is a lawyer, attended Congress in Rwanda in March. Infantino was elected to office again on the 5th of June 2019. In the election year, the year after World Cup year 2023. When the ordinary congress, which is held once in a year, was going to be held in Rwanda, it was in March. And because they are people who understand what they are doing, the election of president was conducted in March. Only in just March 2023. Three months to June. Now, I'm going to go to the Hokumasi July 10th. No, I said, say, say, no, and uh, uh, October, New Year. What type of people are here to speak? Or then, come on, I mean, it's a question. Way, yeah, well, I think I also find interesting here the, the election of both the president and the executive council members on the same day, mm. named set by the status, you no, know, only president mm. and elected by yes. Congress. Yes. Um, the ESCO no, is elected by. The electoral bodies, you know, the electoral colleges, you know, yes. and, uh, Do you know why? Uh, by a reading of it, they are two no, on the same day. Apart from saying you are not born, there is no reason. So, when born here, you cannot. When. Oh, because you just say born here on a very high. Why will you do this when the man is the host trade? Born here at the day. You don't know, and you don't want to know. Because I'm actually grandpa in four bay, Dokuna, to Ashino, and yet you know, I've been there is a precedent normalization for timetable. Maybe a woman, what an amen can it do? What started from the item four are the voting procedure. The voting procedure shall conform to part four of the new GFA regulations on election 2019. Then five, venue for elections. The venue for election shall be A, the extraordinary Congress to elect the president shall be held in Accra. So they don't talk about elective Congress. Two, uh, B, uh, B, election of constituent body representatives onto the ESCO shall be held in Accra. C, elections for the RFA chairperson shall be held in the respective regional capitals. Now, let me go through the schedule. Uh, you know, the whole number, activity, dates. Number one, opening of nominations for election of president, executive council members, and all RFA chairperson, 16 September 2019. Closing of nominations for election of president, executive council, and RFA chairperson, 20 September 2019. Notice of dates and venues for the Congress and all elections. Has this been done? Hmm. 20th, uh, 20, 20th September 2019. Then you go to four. Submission of reports on all five nominations. 25th September 2019. Five. Vetting of nominees for all elections. 26 September to 1st October. Six. Election of RFA chairpersons. 18th October. Seven. Election for constituent bodies, 24th October 2019. Eighth, election of two RFA chairpersons on the Executive Council, 
24th October 2019. Nine, extraordinary Congress for the election of DFA president and swearing in 25th October 2019. It is a whole by 2019 where any 10 years in the disappear to archive. It should still be in the file at our office. It is a lesson committee from the having seen this. And even the general secretary and the deputy general secretary, Alex Asamoa, Alex Asante, cannot remind them. Then you go and put election of president and election of executive council members and the uh, 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 RFA on the same day. Meanwhile, your, your, your status that mandates you, that gives you the authority to be a member of the elections committee, has it that. Election of president is mandatory on at ordinary congress. You have said it in one year, sir. In two years, ordinary congress. Who will work out your elective congress? The election must be only one for the uh, president. So when you combine this, it means that you have what you are doing is contrary to the status. I make a human remedy. Anything that you do which is contrary to our status, I don't recognize it. It is illegal unlawful and can never be accepted.